Hi everyone, welcome to this reading. I have my crystal ball off to the side and I will be scrying throughout this message. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different. If you're returning, welcome back. You know how we do if it doesn't resonate, if you're forcing it to fit, or if you're arguing with it in any way, it just means that this reading isn't meant for you. So let's go ahead, let's get started. Taking a step aside. And allowing spirit to pass through me. Opening up to receive information. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit of a different energy. This is a bit of a different message for me. So this reading is for somebody who um, you seem to feel very badly about yourself. This is, you know, this is like being self-conscious, um, not being happy with the way that we either present or how we appear. Um, not being very satisfied with the way that we look. So for some of you, this is going to be feeling like you need to lose a lot of weight. For some of you, it's going to be needing to gain weight. We'll see what's going on here. And um, for some of you, this may be... Uh, 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 let's just pull some cards. Okay. We have the mask. And we have, yeah. So there's definitely a... Um, uh, a skewed lens of perception regarding ourselves here and you're not going to feel that way right whoever I'm reading for you actually feel like no this is true this is absolutely 100% true these things are terrible about me you know what I mean um, and so maybe you're trying to diet more maybe you're trying to exercise more and there's nothing wrong with the exercising more or you know really being mindful of the things that you're putting in your body there's nothing wrong with that um, but for some reason spirit feels that there should be a message attached to this let's see yeah, um, we're undergoing some sort of transformation here. Whenever I see that death card, death for me is a bridge between our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. Um, so there's some sort of transformation that's going on here. There's something deeper is kind of the issue here. Um, maybe you do need to drop a few pounds to be within that healthy category so that your heart doesn't have to overwork itself. Uh, maybe you do have to raise you know, gain more weight so that you don't have things like hair loss and things. Um, but whatever the case is, there seems to be some sort of view that we have about ourselves that no matter what weight we are, we're not happy with ourselves. Um, and so I don't really want to address the issue as though there is an actual issue. I kind of want to address the underlying issues because that's where that's where spirit's kind of going with this um yeah <laughs> that can't be any more clear this is the underworld that's uh, shadow territory right um there's something here that we think we put behind us that we haven't necessarily put behind us for some of you you may have had parents that were always um criticizing the way that you look criticizing your appearance um you may have had uh, friends that were very like they like to pick on people about their looks or something like that there's something going on here that is still it's still churning around in there with these worms um, that is kind of fueling this body dysmorphia for some of you for others of you it's just a dislike of the self no matter like what state you're at it's not even that you see yourself in a skewed way there are just feelings there um, and spirits kind of trying to bring this to your attention whoever this is for Again, my readings aren't here to tell somebody something that they don't know. So if this is about you and, you know, you don't really know it or it doesn't resonate for you, then it's not your reading. My messages are for confirmation for something that someone is becoming aware of, is already aware of, or um, will be aware of it once they hear it. So as in like it resonates deeply and you know it. Yeah, so like the obstacle here really is self-love. It's really um, loving yourself no matter where you're at right and this is the tough part you know even if you have a really good working relationship with yourself it's really hard to love yourself as you are um physically you know there's a difference between knowing that you maybe need to make a, make a change for your health and that being self-love and then knowing you need to make a change for your health but also having these other feelings attached to it do you know what i'm saying and like whoever i'm reading for here it's like spirits trying to tell you that hey like let's let's really work on loving ourselves as we are this also because this is showing up this way um is also saying to me that you don't see yourself the way that other people see you um, whoever I'm reading for, it feels a little bit like we give a lot of thought about the way that other people see us, and yet we don't really listen to how other people see us. Um, so I think that you may be a person that is pursued a lot, or has a lot of compliments, or um, maybe you're not. Maybe you just have some family around you who's you know tells you that you're pretty from time to time maybe you're surrounded by people who don't tell you that you're pretty um but whoever this reading is for this is saying that you know how p other people outside of you see you is very different from how you see yourself hmm 
Hmm. Yeah, there's this um There's this energy that this is uh really starting to infect it's affecting other things. You know what I mean? Like um when we have these beliefs and these um Mm, these unprocessed baggages they do affect parts of our body for some of you this is really affecting your lower back um, others of you this is affecting something going on within the stomach area and the reason why I'm picking those two areas is because this has to do with the the shadow area right our shadow is often seated um, experienced anyway in this lower stomach along with that inner child and so it can affect anything around that circumference of our body there is something here that we have to deal with um, that, you know, I don't think that it's an issue even that most of you are going to be like, yeah, I constantly think about when so-and-so would always say this to me. You know what I mean? Um, but whoever I'm reading for, it's like, even though it's not something that's conscious, it's something that's operating subconscious. It's something that's operating um, that you can probably pull out from the pre-conscious to be aware of it. But there is something from the past that is greatly affecting you and the way that you're viewing yourself still to this day. And so it's very important going forward that we don't carry this with us. Um, because as we carry this with us, it's going to manifest as different health problems. Um, you may even be noticing that with your metabolism. Your metabolism may be slowing down. Obviously, that's also a sign of age um, or poor food choices, right? Um, there is there is this... Mm, what is this? What is this energy? For some of you, you've been trying to work on your third eye a great deal. Here, I'm going to pull this one. And this is an energy that may be actually blocking you from being able to open your third eye again. So for some of you who are dealing with this issue, uh, you may be in a space where you feel like you're not able to see the way that you used to, or you're not able to um, sense the way that you used to. And this would be why. Um, there is, there's something here within this underworld energy that is t stealing our vision from us, right? Because it starts with our vision of ourselves. If we can't see ourselves clearly, we can't see other things clearly. And so that's a place that Spirit's trying to guide uh, you to look. That's just for someone out there. That's not for everyone who this message pertains to. Um, that was just like a little side energy that came in real fast. So let's see. Yeah, um, they, they want you to take things slow. So um, whoever I'm reading for, we grew up in a way that we had a lot of pressure put on us. Definitely, I'm definitely getting a sense of that. And um, because we had a lot of pressure on ourselves growing up, um, it, it feels a little bit like we're expected to be perfect. That expectation to be perfect often makes us want to take things too quickly, right? We want to see the change within ourselves too quickly. We're not, we don't honor the process. We don't honor the journey. Uh, we might find it triggering when people talk about the process or the journey or taking things slow. Um, but that really is the advice here. Someone here is doing some harm to their body in an attempt to rectify this. So this might be extreme dieting or extreme uh, exercising, right? Which is, if, especially if you're a female, that's not necessarily good for your hormones. And so um, somebody here is just on a path where they, that's one of the messages is coming through is that uh, your spirits, your guides are a little concerned about what you may be doing to your body and they'd like you to take it a little slower. Um, you know, be okay with things taking a long time because it didn't, it didn't happen overnight either, right? Um, but more than that, they would like you to actually love yourself as you are right now. They're also saying take your time in learning what this is, learning what this energy here is. Uh, don't dive too deep too fast because it's almost like you're, you'll miss it, right? It has to be something that we cultivate in our subconscious that we desire to know what this thing is and we have to allow that subconscious to meet us and percolate that energy and that, um, that memory up to us. Hmm, what is this? First, okay, I, this is weird. This is weird. And I hope that whoever this is for knows what I'm talking about with the piper. The piper for me is about a song, right? But it's something that's very lulling. There's a very warm, seductive energy to it. Um, there's something about what is fueling this for somebody out there uh, that is attached to many other things. And the amount of things that it is attached to is very overwhelming. And um, 
be aware that doing this work, doing this dive, because it's so closely linked and it's such a core belief, um, may be very difficult. And because it's extremely difficult, it may take some time, again, going slow, it may take some time, um, but it may be an energy that has a has the ability to bring you down emotionally a great deal once you discover it. So just be aware of that. Understand that that's still something that we have to work through if you do do this um, and just honor it when it happens, right? I honor that I feel this way. There's nothing to freak out about. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to be nervous about. It's part of the process. Um, but there seems to be a lot attached to this and it has this sort of siren effect of pulling us into this stupor or this energy haze or this uh, mild depression for some people, even a dark night, uh, as we discover this, because there's a lot of things tied off to it, like a spider web that are going to um, kind of be lit up. There, This is good. This is really good. And the reason why this is good is because um, if, that, if that particular message is for you, it means that you're going to get to the bottom of many things. And those many things are where we get to clear things out and we get to remove blockages from ourselves. The blockages that are inside of ourselves energetically that come from past experiences, from past emotions, they prevent us from being able to spiritually evolve or to heal ourselves, right? To live our fullest here in the 3D as well. They prevent things from coming to us that really uh, we have every right to have. Um, there is... This energy that's coming through that once you discover what this thing is, it's going to be like a huge weight has been lifted off your shoulders here. There's a change of priority that's coming in the future for you if you're able to do this work. Um, this priority is also about um, a change of ideas. If you look at that, that mushroom, almost looks like a face and he's taking the hat off the mushroom. Uh, so there's a change of our ideas that are going is going to take uh, place here once this healing occurs. Um, the main message that's coming through from this is that, you know, spirit wishes that you were able to see yourself the way that other people see you. Um, from how this appears to me, you're quite a beautiful person here and you can't see it. You know, maybe you've been surrounded by people your whole life that have kind of made fun of how you look or, um, it would be very beneficial if you want some advice from me on something to do as a practice. If you could like Take some time every day, just set an alarm every day um, to look in the mirror for five minutes and just tell yourself that you're beautiful and you're not going to feel that that's true at first. Um, but you're going to process some things as you do that. Make sure you're looking in your eyes as you do this, um, especially your right eye. Make sure you're looking into your right eye, uh, the reflection of your right eye. There is this energy coming through that somebody could really benefit from that because that is the way that they're going to do shadow work. That's very interesting. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave this here because that's all the energy that I'm getting. And I hope this resonates. Whoever this resonates for, I wish you the best of luck with this. And if it does resonate for you, please hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment. And until next time.